Hi, I'm Pranav, a wealth manager at ICAP Financial Services, and today I'm going to be talking about the basics of mutual funds. So let's dive right into it. So a mutual fund is a pooled investment vehicle where the fund manager of a mutual fund gathers all the investments from different sources such as retail public and institutional investors and pools it into a fund. He takes that fund and invests it in different asset classes such as equity, debt and commodities such as gold. So why do we invest in different asset classes? So the fund manager does this to gain the maximum benefit of diversification. So what diversification does is it reduces the risk and also increases the rate of return that is required by the investors. So let me give you an example of diversification and how it's important in the mutual fund concept. All right. So say for example, me as a retail investor has invested my money only in Reliance and say Reliance has a really bad quarter this time around and then the Reliance share price would fall by about 5 to 10 percent in the quarter. And so that way I have a lot of risk, right? But that way to cut out the risk, I can invest in a mutual fund that is holding the Reliance share along with other shares and assets as well. So if the Reliance share does fall down, my investment as a whole isn't going to go down as much. So let's now talk about the categories of mutual funds. The first one being an open ended mutual fund. In an open ended mutual fund, the mutual fund company typically does not restrict the number of shares that it gives out to the investors. So the open ended mutual fund will typically allow the investors to enter or exit into the fund at any given point of time. So when the investor wants to buy it, they will buy it directly from the mutual fund company. And when they want to sell it back, they sell it back to the mutual fund company. So a close ended mutual fund is where uh, the subscription to the units or the shares of the mutual fund are open only for a specific amount of time. So once that window closes, the shares will be traded amongst the investors. So say in so in the previous you know open ended uh, mutual fund, I had told you that the investor could buy it and sell it back to the mutual fund company. But that's not the case in a close ended mutual fund over here. Once that window closes, an investor will have to buy and sell it to other existing investors. And over here, your funds are also locked in for a specific amount of time. Alright, so now I'm going to talk about the types of mutual funds. The first one being the equity or growth mutual fund. It's an extremely popular mutual fund wherein the mutual fund company allows the investor to participate indirectly in the stock market without them actually having to invest in it. So through this you know, uh, equity mutual fund, they invest in different sectors and you know, because of the diversification, we have a higher return and also high risk. This, this uh, type of mutual fund is best suited for young and new investors who want to generate higher returns and also have a high risk appetite. So now the equity mutual fund can be further classified into three different types. One being the sectoral funds second being the tax saving funds and third being the index funds. So let's talk about the sectoral specific mutual funds. Over here what the mutual fund company does is they either invest in specific sectors or segments. The sectors being examples such as mining, uh, energy, uh, auto, pharma etc. And the segments being mid cap, large cap, small cap etc. Uh, this is best suited for investors who have a higher risk appetite and also want to generate higher returns. So the next one we're going to talk about is the tax deduction or the tax saving mutual funds also known as the ELSS, the equity linked saving scheme. Over here the mutual fund typically has a lock in period of 3 years and it is also tax deductible under the ATC rule of the income tax. Now I'm going to talk about the index funds. They are mainly for investors who want to invest in equity mutual funds but don't want to have a fund manager participating in that and you know changing the allocation. So uh, they basically follow an index. So what does that mean? So for example if my mutual fund is going to be linked or if it follows the uh, nifty 50 
take for example nifty 50 has a, a weightage of 20% of reliance even my mutual fund would have 20% of reliance in it and it would try to replicate the nifty 50 um, this is best suited for investors who have a lower risk appetite so the second one being money market or liquid funds so money market mutual funds typically put their money into short term highly liquid debt securities so these are best suited for investors who want to generate a small amount of return in a very short period of time that are also highly liquid. Uh, so this is also best for you know investors who have a low risk appetite and don't want to take too much of a risk and they want to park their surplus funds in these kind of mutual funds. They are also an alternative to a savings bank account. Okay, so the next type of mutual fund I'm going to talk about is the debt of fixed income mutual funds. So in these mutual funds, the mutual fund is basically invested into fixed income instruments such as bonds, government bonds and debentures. Uh, they are suitable for investors who have a low risk and low return kind of appetite and want to park their funds to generate a steady return over a long period of time. But the only downside to this kind of mutual fund is the credit risk that is linked to the fixed income instrument. If I am an investor and I am looking to invest in mutual funds, that will give me slightly higher returns but I don't want to take that much risk. So can you advise me on what I can do? Hmm. Looks like you have a low risk appetite but you are looking at something you know which invests both in equity and debt is what you are saying? Yeah. So the perfect fund for, the, for an investor like him would be a balanced fund wherein the mutual fund invests both in equity and in debt and they keep shifting the allocation depending upon the market conditions. This is best for investors like him who want a slightly higher return than the you know uh, debt funds uh, but also slightly lower risk as compared to the equity mutual funds. So that's why the name balanced fund. So the last type of mutual fund we're going to be talking about are the guild funds. These kind of funds invest solely in government securities. They are suited for investors who are highly risk averse and want a stable but low income. So the only risk associated with these kind of funds is the interest rate risk. The government can keep changing the interest rate of their bonds from time to time. Alright, so that's the end of our video on you know the basics of mutual funds. If you did like this video and if you want to know more about how to pick out mutual funds that are right for you, please like, share and subscribe and also put some comments down in the comment section.